we're at 20,000 feet, clinging to the side of this mile-high wall of granite, and everything in front of me was just space. And I looked at this, and I thought it was the most extraordinary thing that I'd seen in my whole entire life, and immediately this became my new challenge. Three, two, one. You're all positioned at different parts, at different points on this very large cliff face, which is the IT distribution channel. You cannot help, in this sort of environment, work strategically together as a team, because everybody is outside of their comfort zone at some point in the process. And for me, this was just an extraordinary development, because all of a sudden this, this vision which was my exciting project, had all of a sudden become bigger than me. My back then spun off the ice, my head's off its own base jump, and I was rolling after it. And I had these World War II cameras mounted on my helmet, which weighed 13 kilograms. And so I had to sort of walk around like this. Now, we all know what it's like when somebody presents this idea that you really have not that much confidence in, particularly people who are involved in sales and every year who have this wonderful achievement and are feeling like Superman and they're presented with this goal for the next year which is seemingly as insurmountable as the year before. My problem was that I was already stretched beyond what I thought I was capable of, both mentally and physically. And by exhilarated, I mean I'm so far outside my comfort zone and so far beyond where I thought I'm, I should be, and yet still in physical control, my senses are so heightened. Even though I've done all of that, I still don't feel like it. I still don't feel compelled to be drawn off the cliff. I'm not really excited about getting off there. So I'd find all the energy I could, the mental energy and the physical energy, and I'd push myself up 10 metres and I'd get over this obstacle and I'd say, OK, I'm there. This really put my challenge into context because all of a sudden I realised that my product, this technical capability that I'd developed, this competency that I'd developed, this technology that I'd developed was really insignificant in terms of what my real challenge was. I had to think about how I can make this safe. And I had to think about how I can make this responsible. How can this risk be made safe is very simply in the same risk way you manage any other kind of risk. To help him compartmentalise all these responsibilities, I made him think in sections. This transcends into everything that you do. I mean, the fact that your drives, the fact that all that IT equipment you distribute, that you deliver to customers, needs to be technically perfect is a given in the sense that your real task is to facilitate distribution of it. Your real task is to move as much of this stuff as you possibly can. From a management perspective, this was very difficult because what I wanted to do, what I desperately wanted to do, was to give this guy a perfectly packed parachute. People think that I somehow jump off these things and my parachute hopefully opens. I mean, I've planned, I've prepared, I've practised, I'm so intimately involved and part of this process before it's even happened.